In this video, we're going to talk about how to evaluate the limits of hyperbolic functions. So here we have three examples regarding hyperbolic sine. And to do this, it's really helpful if you have a graph in front of you. So I recommend drawing a graph for hyperbolic sine. A rough, just a rough sketch will do. And it looks something like this. So now what happens to the y value of this graph as we approach infinity along the x-axis? So that means as we approach to the right, as x goes to, an, to positive infinity, notice what happens to y. y goes up to positive infinity. So that's going to be the limit as x approaches positive infinity for hyperbolic sine. Now what about as x approaches negative infinity. In this case, we're going to the left along the x-axis. Following the curve, we can see it goes down to negative infinity in the y direction. So the y value will be negative infinity. Now what about as x approaches 0 from the right? So here's the origin has an x value of 0. As we approach it from the right, the y value becomes 0. So that's going to be the answer for that problem. So that's how you can evaluate the limit of hyperbolic functions. Now let's try some other examples. Let's move on to tangent. What is the limit as x approaches positive infinity for hyperbolic tangent? Feel free to pause the video and work on these problems. We'll also look at the left end behavior. And what is the limit as x approaches 0 from the left side? So go ahead and work on those three examples. So I'm going to begin by drawing a graph of hyperbolic tangent. So hyperbolic tangent has two horizontal asymptotes. One at y equals positive 1, the other one at y equals negative 1. And the graph is an increase in function, and it looks like that. So as we approach as x goes to positive infinity, notice the y value approaches 1. So that's going to be this answer. As we go towards negative infinity to the left on the x-axis, the y value approaches negative 1. And for the last one, as we approach an x value of 0 from the left side, this has a y value of 0. So this is going to be equal to 0. Now let's try some more examples. Go ahead and find the limit as x approaches positive infinity of, let's say, secant, hyperbolic secant. And let's get the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of hyperbolic secant as well. So go ahead and try those two problems. So let's begin by drawing a graph of hyperbolic secant. This graph looks something like this. Let me draw that better. And this point has a y value of 1. So starting with the first example, as x approaches positive infinity, the y value is 0. We're going closer and closer to the x-axis, so this is going to be 0. As x approaches 0 from the left, that is, as we follow this curve towards an x value of 0, we can see the y value is 1. So the best way to really evaluate the limits of hyperbolic functions, in my opinion, is to draw the graph. As long as you know the graphs of these hyperbolic functions, it's going to be easy or relatively easy to 
evaluate the limits. Now let's try a few examples with cotangent. So find the limit as x approaches negative infinity for hyperbolic cotangent. Let's also go to positive infinity. And then let's find the limit as x approaches 0. Be careful with that one. So feel free to pause the video and work on those examples. Let's begin by drawing a graph. So hyperbolic cotangent has two horizontal asymptotes, just like tangent. The first one is at y equals 1. The second one is at y equals negative 1. Now hyperbolic cotangent also has a vertical asymptote. And this one is at x equals 0. So the graph looks something like this. So that's a rough sketch of the graph for hyperbolic cotangent. Now, as we approach, as x goes to negative infinity, that is as we go all the way to the left, this curve is approaching a y value of negative 1. So that's going to be this answer. For the next one, the limit as x approaches positive infinity for hyperbolic cotangent. As we go to the right, we're positive infinity for x is. Notice that this curve approaches a y value of 1. So that's going to be positive 1. Now what about at 0? As we approach the limit as we approach, as x approaches 0 rather, what does the limit approach? What value does it converge to? Now for this one, we need to look at the left and the right sided limits. If we look at the, the left sided limit, so here is when x is 0. As we follow the curve, going towards 0, started from the left, Notice that this is going down towards negative infinity. Now, as we follow the curve going to zero from the right side, so here's the right side. We're approaching an x value of zero. The y value is going to positive infinity. Notice that the left sided limit and the right sided limit, they're different. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 does not exist because the left side and the right side, they don't match in value. They have different values. So that's going to be the answer for this one. The limit does not exist. So that's basically it for this particular topic. So now you know how to evaluate limits of hyperbolic functions. And it's very helpful if you know the graphs of these functions.